I've just confirmed with my dad that I am, in fact, indeed going to meet Chris Perot tomorrow at Hyde Park. Pretty goddamn excited. I'd never thought I'd actually meet him. I never thought he'd come to the UK, but I've always wanted him to come to the UK, and he finally has as part of the British Airways innov Innovate thing. I can't remember what it's called now. Um, but yeah, I'll put the hashtag in the description for this vlog. So yeah, uh, hopefully uh, you'll see some footage of that as well. So stay tuned. I've just had some cheesecake. Yeah, it was pretty goddamn nice. But uh, yeah, what the hell? There's a dog trapped in my TV. What? Um, you all right in there? Um, little bit worried how he's in there, considering the TV's like that thin. How the hell did he get in there? I may smell yeah. like egg and <laughs> crests. See, we call it an egg salad sandwich in America, so I'm going to educate you oh, on American English. No, you guys. At least the weather's like. Hey, that. that's that's the same camera that I have. Kind of. I told you with a big lens. I told you about it. I told you about it. Can we get somewhere dry? Yeah. yeah. So good idea. Under yeah. there. Yeah. yeah. The trees were quite dry. 
Just for us here. We totally have to take a head count on this thing. I don't know how we're going to pull that off, but. Uh, Will we have more than Vulgar Fair? Uh, yeah, you guys are coming close to Vulgar Fair here. Just, uh, yeah. We had 1,300 people, and I had uh, this week, basically, what, what uh, I just edited the vlog this morning, which would be 28 minutes long, which is fantastically long, but I didn't want to cut anything out. So it was a fantastic experience. I'm pretty sure we've been really happy. And I got to meet. Um, the prime, well, I didn't meet him face to face, but the Prime Minister was at the event yesterday. He was really impressed me. I don't know what that role is in the government here, but it seemed nice. He <laughs> 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 wasn't mean or anything. It seems like you guys have your political situation figured out a little more than we do, but apparently you guys have something to <laughs> Well, no, no, what was funny to me is someone uh, someone introduced themselves and said, I you know, work for this person uh, as a part of the opposition party. And like, it's just kind of bizarre to say opposition. Like you would never, in America, that's like bad. Like if you say I'm a, I'm a member of an opposition, you're like a rebel and like that's like a rogue type of thing. So I, I expect that that's good. We have a one side and then another. We don't have to go into politics right now. So <laughs> fantastic, uh, fab, brill. Uh, which by the way was the name of my high school biology teacher, Mr. Brill. And uh, that wasn't short for anything. It was just brill. So oh, I'm glad this tree worked exceedingly well. <laughs> Wonderful. So. Uh, I, I'd spoken with a couple of people at uh, Tech City, which is at one end of London or another where a lot of startups. Yeah. yeah. So I'm 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 hopefully going to meet with them a little later in the week and <laughs> it's a theater in the round here. All right. So uh, I also uh, spoke with a, a few individuals at UKTI, which is an entity which, hey, it's a Darth Vader iPhone case, cool. Um, <laughs> I didn't bring mine, mine's just a plain jellyfish, whatever. Uh, so, hey everybody. <laughs> so, uh, I'm sorry I'm so short. <laughs> For real, you guys thought it was a joke? No, I am this short. Um, and I'm wearing heels, not really. But the uh, uh, UKTI, I talked to them about possibly doing something here in, in London or specifically in the general UK region, if only because I know that there is um, as much of a community here as might be over in the States. And I mean, obviously, um, this is, I, I haven't even started plugging yet. So you guys are have, going to have to like record and tag. Make sure you use the tag so everyone knows what is it, London or London? Yeah, that's a great yeah. name. Um, I, it's, a, it's pretty yeah. fun. Um, <clears throat> so I, I have every intention. This is starting to sound like a political speech. Isn't it? <laughs> uh, I just need your votes. Uh, the, uh, no, I don't need your votes. I really don't. The uh, <coughs> hope would be that we would find a way to take Blogger Fair, that concept, and bring it over here. Uh, I do know of summer in the city, so I, the, the last thing I would want to do is like, you know, trounce on anybody else or maybe, hey John, what's up? Uh, he's an angry Scotsman. Uh, the, uh, uh, the, uh, right? Really? All right. So, uh, yeah, Dark Vader t-shirt, you guys know me well. The uh, idea, though, would be to bring it here at another time potentially, uh, I don't know how soon or how far away, but it is my intention to take that water fair concept and bring it to places where it doesn't exist. We had a pretty good uh, turnout. It, it was difficult to s really see in the video. It was a lot like this, only no one knew who I was. So <laughs> I, was, I was the man behind the scenes, and it was a lot of fun, and I would hope to be able to take it to other places. Uh, just it's, just a, it was like this, a gathering where you have a chance to, to meet people and uh, your people in the vlog would have a chance to meet each other and collaborate. And that, that's a concept that could work uh, pretty much anywhere. So I would want to find out more about the vlogging scene and people here. I met uh, Eat Louie. Yeah, the food. Uh, Nicole, yeah. Eat Bizarre. <laughs> like, <laughs> food with Louie. <laughs> Cute. So now I'm running in uh, for 2016. Well, it would be my hope to be able to make some some business connections here, such that I, I would be able to make an easier transition of bringing water bear here, having never done business internationally. It's not that much of a challenge, but doing an event is like exceedingly expensive, and trying to do it in such a way that people really enjoy themselves. I mean, we're going to enjoy ourselves today, I think. I hope. There's a few more. I thought like 25 tops. I really did. Are there a lot more people coming? Oh, fantastic. Uh, great. We can take them all. And y'all should meet each other too. I mean, because that's the nice thing is y'all came here for me. But the beauty of having gatherings like this is you get to extend 
you know, your own personal yeah. connections, and you never know what relationships are going to develop from this. So I would expect that y'all are going to meet each other too. Uh, but yes, I, I just wanted to say that I have every intention and, and hope to be able to bring that blogger fair concept uh, to, if not London, then certainly the UK. But uh, the people that I've uh, met with here have been wonderful. I mean, like, absolutely wonderful. Yes. <laughs> yes. And, and I haven't had a problem with the translations at all. <laughs> Other than I, I was telling Al. And Al I'm sorry, where's Al? Yeah, the uck. It's not the uck. Uh, Al is the one uh, when I, he reached out. Uh, someone else had connected me to Al here. And I said, well, yeah, I'd like to do a gathering. If only because I'm here. It's the first time here. having a great time. Um, have no specific plans right now, like for the rest of the week. <laughs> you, I'll stand still. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll blur. Um, so, but it, everything's kind of coming together like this, and uh, I like keeping my schedules loosey goosey. That's an American thing. I don't know if you guys. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I, I, there, there may be something lost in translation, but assuming that most of you heard my videos before, yeah. you know how fast I talk and <laughs> my colloquialisms and whatnot. Um, but. Uh, yeah, that, that's that's really all I wanted to say is that Blogger Fair was good and I, I would want to do more of them and uh, it, we'll definitely do another one in Seattle but I, I think having one in London would be fantastic. I just want to make sure I don't step on anybody else's toes, which is easy for me to do because I <laughs> can't see anything, especially in the, the tube, right? The tube? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was fun. <laughs> Are you being on yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Wait, it reminded me a lot of Paris, though. Other than yeah, I could yeah. read, like, oh, yeah. <laughs> that's the in Paris. You <laughs> well, don't know where you're going. Just walk. Well, that, that's the thing in with 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 French. I I mean, I see like 14 letters, but only pronounce three. Yeah. And it's like, okay, if they say something. I'm like, there's a disconnect between what's said and where I have to go. But so it's nice to have color coordination and what have you. But everyone's been, you know, very friendly. Thank you uh, so much for being like yourselves. Seriously, and I, I, I do want to thank you because I'm really overwhelmed right now. <laughs> I've never been this overwhelmed in my entire life. I'm just a little blown away. So thank you. Oh hey! Oh, I'm, I'm, I think yeah. Yeah. oh thank you. Yes, we have a stack. Those postcards that come in from the blog, we've got a stack that high at this point. It just started as a thing, and it's it's fun to do. I mean, you know, I don't. I started doing something with TLDR the other day, as, uh, as it was a joke, someone from uh, Portugal, no, uh, sorry if everybody's kind of getting wet and, and <laughs> right now, but uh, I apologize for that, not that I would need to apologize, just that I'm the reason you're standing in the rain. Um, uh, uh, so I don't know his name, though, unfortunately. Can we get in? We're gonna get in. All right, let's, let's try to get in. What's that? There's a miscommunication with, uh, uh, with the travel stuff, but uh, um, uh, so unfortunately he couldn't, he couldn't be here, uh, which is really disappointing. So I really wanted to troll around London with that and have him meet everybody. I think we can get everybody in here. Have you seen the sites yet? Yeah. What's that? Have you seen the sites? Uh, Big Ben. Yeah, a couple. Yeah, yeah. I, I Instagrammed one uh, one of the photos, and uh, that was that was a lot of fun to see it. You know, like, well, I wasn't expecting when it came about is that West, West Western Western Station. Station. Yeah. And we drove past and I was filming and then there's Big Ben like right there. Oh. Okay. Need to record audio. And as long everyone's okay with being in the vlog, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yes, Mr. Perillo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the middle of London right now vlogging with all my new friends. Yeah. I think we have about 75 people who showed up, which is, uh, Brill! <laughs> Fab! Epic! Epic! Oh, epic I can do. Spiffing. Fantastic. Spiffy. Right? Spiffing. Oh, spiffing. Spiffing! Oh, jolly good. Jolly good. <laughs> right. We're going to be moving to a hotel, though, because it's, it's raining outside, and... And we're kind of cramped under this whatever it was. There was a wedding here earlier. Not anybody we knew, right? No. 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 Okay, so uh, everybody say your name. Lewis. Okay, you got that. And if you're on Twitter, your Twitter handle. Lewis. Lewis. All right. And if you're on YouTube. Lewis. Okay, so subscribe and follow. Uh, what I'm going to do. Oh yeah. Well, God. No. What I'm going to do though is. 
is uh, set up a, like a Google Doc, and everybody who's here, if they're recording video or photos or whatnot, we're using the hashtag London, so it's a V in front of the word London. And now that Facebook supports hashtags, that's awesome. Uh, but I'll be sure to send that link to everybody so that they could put their uh, links to the YouTube videos or uh, Twitter profiles, any kind of Instagram photos, so that everybody who's watching this video will be able to see the videos that everybody else in our community has created. Because these people here, they're part of your community too. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Genius. All right. So that was in the vlog. Yeah. Brilliant. Hey, recording of TLDR. I am with a whole bunch of friends who are part of your community here in the UK, right? It's the UK, not UK. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 I'm USA, you know, USA. So anyway, uh, it's been great. We've been hanging out here. Uh, some people have been recording and, and posting uh, their vlogs into their channels. I'll be sure to share the links to where you can find those in, in, in this video's description. A uh, single link, because I'm going to collect them by way of a Google Doc and what have you. But it's been a fantastic time. And even if you don't know the people around, who oh, spin around. Uh, even if you don't know the people around you, they are as much a part of this community as you are. And it's been absolutely fantastic. Such an amazing turnout. I don't know how many people in total, but it felt like a hundred. Okay, mm -hmm. it felt like a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> it was only fifteen sixty, so they were really they were really good personalities, which which really worked. So for uh, this uh, live TLDR. What I'm going to do is play with someone's iPhone. We're going to do a, a drop test. No, just kidding. <laughs> That'd be funny. No, I wouldn't do that. Uh, this is uh, an iPhone running iOS 7. This is a, a developer build. Now, I have to say that uh, with, uh, so you understand this is not a final build. And the reason why I'm putting a finer point on that is because it turns out that Johnny Ive had apparently, who's now in charge of the design of what's going on with the iPhone, gave the icons, which you saw me do in TLDR the other day, he gave the icon development task to web and print design teams. Did you guys know that? Mm -hmm. So that's the reason why they're so messed up. Uh, so they're not, allegedly, they're not finished with the design of iOS 7, so I don't want to belabor the point on that. I was very happy to hear that they aren't finished because I think that means improvement. So let's go ahead, come in here, see here for the first time, beautiful. And I can twist it, and there's definitely a light parallax going on, and I'd imagine a lot of that happens to be related to the accelerometer inside, or an inclinometer, which is a part of the gyroscope, which they've enabled now in iOS 7. It's very subtle. So it's not in your face, uh, so it's not something that you would necessarily want to toggle at any given moment. Uh, you can see right here on the lock screen we have a few new icons, including and we move it around so that it definitely uh, you can see it. Some dots, which may be showing up there. It's, I don't know if this is really so much of a demo as much as it is just kind of an explanation of how I'm feeling. You know, I've never thought I would talk about how I feel about technology, and then I used Apple products. Um, there's a camera icon down below, so assumedly, yes, you can swipe up. Uh, you don't see any other handlebar in there, but swiping up takes you right to the camera. You can swipe through to go between video, photo, square, and pano. This is an iPhone 5, by the way, if you can't tell by the size of the screen. Uh, the nice thing is, and I, I, I think it seems to be a bit more responsive, quick to snap a picture. Very nice. Let's go ahead and jump back out. Home screen, clean animation. Frame rate seems solid, and of course they should be pushing about 50 frames a second. 
Uh, so let's see here. I, I don't want to, again, violate anybody's privacy. So let's go ahead and, this is not my phone, jump into weather. Very smooth. And it looks like it was inspired by the new Yahoo weather app, although it doesn't seem you can scroll down like you can in the weather app, but smooth transitions and animations, things that we've come accustomed to. Really think that animation smooth. Really like that more than the classic iOS. Um, I hope they fix the icons. That's all I want to say about that. So let's go ahead and double tap. We open the app switcher. And to close an app, you simply swipe it away, just like that, clean animation. And if you're in a, uh, ooh, hang on, let me do this. I don't know what web page you had open last. I'm almost afraid to look. <laughs> uh, but I wanted to just open up a new app. Okay, nothing in here. No, I, I, don't, I don't like the icons. I know I, I keep saying that, and I said I wouldn't say it, but I, just, I think they need to improve the icons across the OS. Smooth transition back down again. Oh, no, I know what I wanted to do. Oh, yeah. Hang on, I'm thinking of three things. I know, and I don't know how to key it in. I think maybe when I'm in an application that is, let's open the camera and switch it. And the, oh, unless, oh, no, orientation lock. There we go. I wanted to show that you can also switch between tasks now in landscape mode as well, uh, as opposed to just portrait oh, mode. Okay. So that, that's kind of nice. So let's go ahead and swipe away the camera. So here's something that I just noticed. Frame rate seems to be dropping when I exit out of the task switching app. Do you see that? I don't know if the camera's going to be able to pick that up, but only okay. Smooth going into it, swipe away. Although I'm still in the, even though I'm in a portrait orientation, it's, uh, the landscape mode is still enabled for the task switching. But I'm definitely seeing drop frames coming out of that task switcher. That needs to be cleaned up. Apple, get on it, because I want a smooth experience. You know me and butteriness. Oh, nice. Swipe down the. It's somehow it's still locked. Even though you saw me holding it in the uh, portrait orientation, it's still locked somehow in a uh, uh, landscape mode. But here's the notification center. Ring, and very nice too. Look at that. Uh, big fat date. Love it. Although I wonder why they still can't squeeze the date into the title bar with uh, this version. Uh, but nice. It's got it, uh, the uh, the weather. Uh, you know, you can read the weather. People still read. Okay. Um, <laughs> go ahead and swipe that away again. Try to get it. Boy, everything. Look at that. I think it's a bug because we have everything locked in. Uh, you can see the uh, the title bar is over on the side. So let's see if we can. Let's go ahead and lock the phone. Nice fading animation. Try to. Oh, I guess we have to slide that way. Icons come in nicely. Back into portrait mode again. It is going to be buggy. Uh, you swipe down from the middle of the screen to pull down uh, your search mode, which is kind of nice. I don't know if I really want to do this uh, because again, this is not my phone. Uh, there's the keyboard. Uh, oh wait, yeah. Okay, I, I want to see if I can do swipe gestures. Boy, I wish. That's one thing I got to give it to uh, swipe and even the Google. I, I I like the swipe gestures going back and forth. So I'm just going with the letter O. Menus are now black. Uh, the keyboard down here in context is black. Uh, we have a list of the top hits. The top. Uh, Justin Bieber. No, no, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> the top hit. You know, oh, anyway. So applications. See, my jokes don't always work. Uh, contacts, kind of nice. Uh, music, a lot of music here. And it scrolls down. Smooth frame rate scrolling through. It's quite fine. Let's go ahead and exit out of that. Some frame droppage, again, exiting out of this search application and back into the home screen. So they've got something I think it's going on with uh, bringing up the home screen again from certain applications. Um, swiping seems fine. Uh, look, opening up utilities. A lot of the same utilities that I have. It seems like, a, and I don't know why they went this direction, with the folder, they have multiple folders, or I guess, I guess nested lists within folders. Um, what's interesting here is that they're not making full use of space. Uh, and I don't mean that just oh, yeah. space background, but the, 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 you've got a big fat utilities at the top, a lot of wasted space at the bottom, and then the icons in the middle. And I appreciate that because I use folders. Looks like there's some blue dots next to some apps, possibly ones that uh, have been updated recently, much like they use the new tag. That's a guess because I, I don't have the uh, I don't have the information on that. But I'm curious to know why they don't have anything down here. There, there has to be a reason. Uh, I just I just don't know. Uh, the folders, of course, have changed as well. You've got uh, a, a whiter background rather than a, a darker background. I do wonder why they they went that way. It looks a bit it looks a bit garish. Why wouldn't they be Why wouldn't the folders be just a bit darker but more transparent, much like the rest of the OS uh, might be, including uh, the dock. Um, I'm trying to see, there is, oh wow, you know, here's the thing, it's very subtle, and it, it's going to be impossible to pick up on the camera, but that, uh, the effect, that the, the parallax effect when you t uh, move the phone back and forth, it's extremely subtle, but it's noticeable, very, very, very like, very small moves with the, uh, the, the background, in the, ba uh, in the background, obviously, the image in the background, uh, but I'm not sure uh, that many people would necessarily notice that, but it's, it is a, a nice effect to have.
and it doesn't dog the system like I've seen other applications specifically on o other platforms do. Um, what, what else should I uh, be looking at? Control yes. center. <coughs> Control center? What's that? Fly pop. Uh, oh. Oh, fantastic. Look at that. This is a different lock screen. And I know people say this is awfully reminiscent of uh, Android, but it's not. Yeah, you, as you move the phone around, the dots, I realize it's going to be difficult to translate, but the dots will uh, also move up and down, kind of like you're holding on to one of those uh, shaky things. That, that's, a port. that's what we call them in America, by the way. We call them shaky things. Uh, thank you for the phone. Um, someone, uh, what should I, oh, the notification center. Swipe up, from, no, not notification center, control, control center. Control center. Swipe up from the bottom. You now have a flashlight, which has now killed all flashlight apps, which is great. Airdrop enabled right there. Uh, so if we were all connected on the same network and, and friends, uh, well, friends would make it easier. We're not friends, though. I mean, we know each other. Um, I didn't want to give anybody promises that we'd become friends. Uh, although we are. Sorry. I'm like, really. <laughs> uh, and it's really hot in this basement, too. So that's why I'm breaking a sweat. Uh, we also have quick access. I'll, oh, I better turn off the flashlight. To uh, your alarms, uh, calculator. Right now, it doesn't seem... Oh, very nice. I like very nice animations going back and forth. Um, you can swipe up from the bottom in any app. You can jump right into the camera. Love that. That's, that's really nice. And for the people, people wondered why this isn't at the top. And I, I say, well, it's all about context, right? So when I need a notification, when I'm looking for swipe information, down. to swipe, right, swipe down. But that's why the notification center is up there. It's all about notifications, being informed of, of all your push notifications, calendar stuff, all missed, you know, today. But the bottom is all about functions and features. So separating the two is a mental connection. So that, to me, makes perfect sense. And I think Apple implemented it as well as they could. So now you can toggle airplane mode, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, do not disturb, and orientation lock. You also have the ability to quickly uh, adjust the sliders. Not exactly sure why they're horrible, but I like the translucency or the transparency of the uh, um, of the background, specifically above the or below the icons and, and above the foreground. Or, I'm sorry, the background. I can see through, but not all the way through, so it's translucent. But I don't know if I like the horizontal dividers. I think they could be made a bit more subtle and still provide separations. That's just a gut thing, just what I feel. Uh, clean animations for the most part, although, like I said, some other stutters. Uh, what else should I be looking at? Oh, de-articulator. Ah, someone watches my videos. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? Come on. Nothing? Ish? Nothing else? No, no, I'm good. I, I, don't, I, I don't necessarily want to show Siri. anything else. Siri. Oh, Siri, yeah, good call. Oh, there's no service. It's, it's asking me to connect to the internet. Great. Uh, I really like the uh, that that I think it's a translucency, not just transparency, but a translucency effect where you can see what's underneath it. It, it does add a different layer to it. Uh, it's definitely a cleaner experience as 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 far as a UI goes. Definitely needs a bit more refinement in in places, um, but. I think they'll get there. I think Apple can get there. I have confidence they can. I don't know if I would necessarily use iOS 7 as my primary device, or, or my primary device today, but if only because it's kind of still buggy, and I want my communications device to work when I need it to work. And it's fun to play with, but I, I don't know if I would necessarily swap out right now. Uh, anything else? Settings. Stuff. Settings. Sorry, I was just looking. Yeah, so now when you go to close icons or delete icons, instead of the red, you get a, a white with a black X inside, a little cleaner. Settings would be right there, a big gear cleaner. They've updated the toggles between airplane mode, or not just airplane mode, but I'm just toggling airplane mode here. Even if you're not able to perceive it directly on camera, it's okay. Um, it's cleaner. Definitely a bit more cohesive, but it's pretty much the same settings app. It's just got a different uh, UI, um, and which is fine. It's just a visual refresh. Anybody who was expecting dramatic changes between iOS 6 and 7 doesn't understand that Apple had to bring the, their existing users along, the, the, that's the bulk of the base, they had to make it familiar enough and yet add to it, and I think that as far as that's concerned, I think iOS 6, 7 has succeeded in it. They just need to kind of put a finer point on the, the design elements and clean up some of those animations, and we'll be good to go. Uh, I don't know if we necessarily want to cover any, anything else, uh, but this was fun to do. So, uh, thank you for watching, and if everybody wants to do it together, we'll do the sign-off. Yeah. Y'all got it? Game Center's changed as well. Game Center's changed? Do we really want to show the bubbles? <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of avoiding that. I'm going to describe this as a Chuck E. Cheese ball pit. Yeah, it's, it's, it's about right. So, <laughs> boom. Yep. Boom mic there. Uh, so, okay, well, we'll go ahead and close the video at this point, and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do it at the same time. I'll do, I'll do a countdown. We're just playing, we're producing this as we go along, much like I do on YouTube. So, three, two, one. <laughs>